When you draw the blood, you put it in a bottle and incubate it in, in the machine. And if it turns positive, what happens is it's going to trigger an alarm because the nutrient in the blood culture bottle is used up by the organism producing CO2. And the CO2 is going to combine with, with the uh, chemical at the bottom of the bottle. And that bottom is actually read by a laser every 15 minutes. And if it detects a high volume of CO2, then it's going to beep, beep, beep. That's going to annoy you until you pull out the blood culture bottle, gram stain it, and put it on the agar. And this is now what they did. It happens to be a gram negative rod. And so this is the growth on the blood agar plate. Just by the look of it, you can tell that it is a pseudomonas. And pseudomonas would look like this on Maconkey because they don't ferment lactose, they are colorless. That's what you can see. They're not pink, but colorless. And uh, if I can show you the colony on chocolate, you can also appreciate the colony on the chocolate. Very typical colony of Pseudomonas aeruginosa, I'd say. Usually, when it has a beta hemolysis around it, it's Pseudomonas originosa.